everyone, it's Jamie from Cottontail Crossing. In today's video, we are going to be doing a speed build for the entrance of my new island. This is a spring core and farm core island, so the entrance is going to feel very natural and a bit rustic. As you can see, I have a little bit of a winding path going off towards the right hand side, and that is because my resident services is actually pretty far away from my airport on this island, so that will eventually lead over there somehow. And then the rest of this entrance build is going to take place off to the left over there. I recently put up a mood board for this island on my Instagram, so go check it out for some inspo if you guys are into this theme and want to get a bit more inspiration and ideas. The link is in the description below. Just like my title indicates, we're going to be including Nook's Cranny in this entrance build. I think it's a little bit different and something fun to do. And Nook's Cranny really gives me farming vibes and reminds me of a shop that you might see in the countryside or in a painting um, where the shop has a little porch. And I don't know, I just think it's really cute and that the spring decor in the windows and the tulip in the watering can really bring the spring and farm vibes that I want on this island. I'm going to be doing some terraforming behind Nook's Cranny because I want to build it up and make it feel um, kind of closed in by a foresty area and just add some dimension and height to the entrance when you first get that view after you step off of the airplane. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm working to build up that area behind the shop so that it feels like surrounded by trees and like there's a bit of a forest going on behind it so that I can really separate it from that area back there and add a lot more dimension when I go to take a photo of this entrance or when a visitor walks in from the airport. And I'm going to be adding in some cliff trees here because I don't have a ton of space to work with and I want it to feel super full like there's a tree in every spot when you look up there. Just 
Just doing a check-in, looks good. I like how it feels up there and I think it's looking nice and full, so I'm gonna kind of repeat that on the other side. This build today turned out to be a little bit of a longer build. It was about two hours and 15 minutes um, like of footage and of building time. So the speed build is a little bit longer today, but it's, it's a fun one and I feel like I put a, a lot of details into it and I'm actually super in love with how it turned out. I'm just creating an illusion of a cliff here behind these trees on the left hand side of the store so that once again it looks really full and maybe I can fit in a little bit of waterscaping that you'll see off to the side there. I really like adding the country fence at the top of skinny waterfalls like I did over to the left there because um, I feel like it makes the waterfall look like it makes a little bit more sense when it doesn't actually come from a water source or join another one. Like, I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but I like it when the waterfalls at least appear to make sense instead of look random. Maybe it's just me. I use a lot of trees of varying heights in this area because it adds to the overall dimension and it, al it allows me to see items um, over some of the shorter trees and then fill in the space in the back. I'm so 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 happy that that has never been patched and that Nintendo has allowed us to keep that in the game because it truly adds so much to decorating in this game. Now I'm starting to place a few items in front of Nook's Cranny. I really want to focus on it being like a garden store, so a lot of plants, some soil, pots, things that you would need for gardening and farming. My other idea was to make it kind of like a hardware store, but when I had started playing around with those items, it just wasn't as cute. So I went for the garden store look and I think it matches the butterflies in the window and the spring decor of Nook's Cranny really well and I'm really happy with how the items turned out. I also used that wooden code there to extend the porch area, which I think adds a rustic and farmy feel. This is the first time that I'm playing around with customizing 
the fencing color and actually using it on my island. For some reason on my last island, I still mainly just went with the light brown fencing. So I thought originally that the green would look good, but I feel like it kind of clashes with the Nook's Cranny store. So I thought that this orange color looked a lot better. And I'm really, really surprised by how much I like it because I honestly never thought that I would use that orange color, but I think it looks great in this case. So out here in front of the shop, I'm creating a mini farm. I think it kind of is like a little preview of what I want to include on my island and a preview to the farm core theme. And it also just goes great with the vibe of the gardening store. just going through and adding in all the finishing touches, adding in some weeds, some more ground coats, filling in the area between the beach and the build because I'd like to kind of block off my beaches in most areas and just adding all the little details to complete this build. As you can see, Nook's Cranny is front and center. Right when you exit the airport, you notice it off in the background, and as you walk up, it just comes fully into view. I really, really love how it looks. It might be kind of odd for it to be at the entrance, but I think it looks great and really, really goes with the farm core theme and adds to that vibe. I love how the little farm turned out in front of Nook's Cranny with the mix of the flowers and the crops. I think I'm going to end up including a lot of small builds like that to fill space on this island or maybe put them in some villager yards.
I like how it feels still really natural and framed in by a lot of trees. I want to have a really natural feel on this island as well as a farm core vibe. So I'm going to be balancing both of those things. I really hope you guys liked how it turned out and you got some inspiration from this build. And please stay tuned if you want to see some more progress on this island. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And please comment your thoughts and ideas, any suggestions you have in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.